I just was been blessed, man, to a certain degree. And it's like, I never got rich off doing hip hop and shit. Mm-hmm. But it's, I mean, hey, you can see, you gotta be able to understand yourself and see where your shit is at. When you sit there, man, and, and somebody gives you a bullshit party, and you give them a flyer, and the flyer says, this party is the baddest party that you're ever gonna see. Mm-hmm. You understand? And I'm not saying, like, I hyped it and psyched everybody out. In other words, he just said, hey, man, I'm putting these guys on the show. Mm-hmm. And he just built the whole show. You took a bunch of people that weren't really shit on this flyer, you look like, man, they're bad. And that's to a certain degree, to me, helped get a lot of these fucking rappers popular, whether they want to believe it or not. Mm-hmm. And a lot of flyers, man, are being done. And not just necessarily by myself. I to say me, Buddy Esquire, Cisco Kid, and Anthony Riley, Brian Hicks, and Danny Tom helped to push these fucking rappers and these DJs and shit. Mm-hmm. And not so much the DJs, right? But mainly the rap. We, we hype these guys and shit. Mm-hmm. You know? Just like when you see earth shaking, breath taking, all that type of shit. Right. We hype these dudes and shit. Because the public doesn't have the public isn't really familiar with these guys. Right. When you say, hey, the baddest rappers, blah 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 blah, they look at this shit and people read it and they say, hey man, I'm gonna check this show out. Right. Because you got because you got vicious flies. But nobody ever gave us the credit for hyping this shit. But we right. hyped all this I mean we hyped and actually hyped these guys through through the visual aspects and, and for me. Definitely just through the way I, I put my words down. Right. Right? I think more than anybody else, I was like taking it upon myself to word flies a certain way and put certain things down that other people actually even bit off me. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? From the time I first started doing the flies, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, so to that degree, man, because we you know, actually hyped these guys up on these flies. And right. after saying, give me your photographs, let me put your photograph on the fly, even bring that idea to light, mm-hmm. help these guys look more, look larger than life to a certain degree. And, and look more presentable and shit and more legit, you know. Because before you got to do flies by the hand, this is scribble scrabble and shit. The only guy that had decent flies was a guy named Kareem. He used to do Herc's flies. He used to draw and rap, come out of hats and stuff like that. He used to, have, used to hook up Dr. Draw, you know. But prior to that, man, you know, it, was, it wasn't shit, you know. And even after that, you know, I mean, that doesn't really help. Well, who, who are the top five guys that are still in the trains now? Still hitting now? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I would name a lot of guys that people probably wouldn't take the shit. I mean, I'll tell you two. Because I just like the way they execute this shit. Right, that's true. But as far as saying top five guys, you gotta say cap for me and shit, because you because <laughs> you get up, right? Right. Cap, C A P. Yeah, but guys that are good, man, it's not really many guys. That are really hit anymore that are really good. Well, that's true. Case just did a piece recently. Like I don't think any nobody's gonna fuck with him. C A S C A S E. Guys from all of them. So nobody's gonna fuck with him. He's not hitting all the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who else? Um Mitch doesn't hit anymore. You know what I'm saying? Well, it still does something. Not too much, you know what I'm saying? See, so I'm saying, so like, you're talking about guys frequently. I see Delta and Sharp, I like this shit. That's what I can say. It reminds me of shit that I would do, right? That's not, I mean, I like this shit. I like dust shit. I like skin shit, right? Mm-hmm. The reason I like dust shit, because he reminds me of a writer supreme in the sense that he does throw up man, he covers the shits in. You see them as all, all, all the time, they always look the same. Mm-hmm. They're neat. They're not this bullshit. I, I just want to get my name around type right. shit. Right. I think the guy's good, a lot of people think he ain't shit. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, his style is similar to other people, but good is good. Just say he bit the whole shit off anybody. You can bite off somebody, but you ain't gotta be good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's still a quality to that shit. Like if right. he took a thousand of people's style and threw this on the train, mm-hmm. the guy knows how to do it though. Mm-hmm. In other words, I can say he can execute a piece and do it good, and that's what makes him good. Mm-hmm. But all the shit that anybody puts it down for, it is irrelevant. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking about at least it's pleasing to the eye to see the shit that he does in the train. What about these young kids that are coming up, like A1? You know, I haven't seen any of this on the train. No. He doesn't hit trains, does he? I, mean, I haven't really seen too many of his much of his Like the stuff he does for fashion motors and stuff like that. Shit, like, fashion motors can kick his ass. I mean, I don't think that's what it's really. I just don't like the crowds so around mm-hmm. I haven't seen too much shit, though. I haven't seen too much of What's wrong with the fashion motor crowd? It's just about the shit I like, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like a gangster crowd to me. Like, you know, like, I'm like this, man. I'm not a little baby. And, and mm-hmm. so, you know, it, like, to me, one thing about hanging around young dudes and shit is that they tend to take you down with that shit. Like you mm-hmm. in the crowd, and they got and they respect you like you're one of them. Shit. Mm-hmm. And they don't understand respecting people above and beyond the bullshit that they respect everybody else. They don't understand right. that shit. See? And so therefore, it's that, and plus you're not you're not gonna learn shit from it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, so I don't think Romello's no kid either. Like Romello too, he's not a fucking kid. Right. The guy's a damn brainiac. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This shit, this shit he's telling me, I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This shit. But I mean, like, then the rest of these guys. I mean, like to me, the average writer now, man, is, 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 is average. In other words, the guy's intelligence is like it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not like anything spectacular about these guys' mm-hmm. guys' intelligence. Man, mm-hmm. you know? Whereas, in a sense, it's always been like that. Mm-hmm. But you met guys, man, along the line. Like I guess ten guys, one guy out of ten, one, two guys out of ten guys are really smart, they're really, and the rest of the guys are just average, and some of the guys are jerks. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, what can you say? Mm-hmm. It's not to take my muscle like you made. And the guys that have all the style, I think they know they ain't asses either. Mm-hmm. Which, is, which is something to think about. It's almost like saying, well, the guys that are just a, a little on, on, on the level of so called normality and shit uh, do decent shit, but the guys that are above intelligence and mm-hmm. shit are the guys that do the real best decent and shit. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I wouldn't want to put down. I mean, ignorance is ignorance. And it's not even necessarily education. But the guys, I mean, like, you got guys, man, it's not okay, here's a good example. I know certain guys in Northwest High School don't read well, but they wear their asses off, so mm-hmm. they're not smart. You see what I'm saying? So, right. it's not, the education does not necessarily make a guy intelligent. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Your common sense is, and the natural ability to learn and shit mm-hmm. is the thing to me that motivates you to be able to create and shit mm-hmm. like that. So, right. But I have never seen a stone asshole idiot be able to do anything. Right. See what I mean? In other words, I never met a guy that was a total fucking jerk mm-hmm. that can paint trains, that can draw, or do anything creative. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? He had to have some kind of damn common sense. You see what I mean? Right. The guys with the common sense are the ones that can that can do the work and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And like this is basic shit that you got to get into because graffiti is is is, is categorized and shit like all the shit that you can get like like the bubbles and the drips and the clouds mm-hmm. and all that type of shit, extension letters and connecting letters and all that type of shit, man. Like you know, puzzle shit, you know. Mm-hmm. Like all that type of shit is the shit that I that I that I know I put I put out here and it's still doing movement now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and I was the first one to use a face on that. Mm-hmm. And it's still doing that shit now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm saying, like, man, I created something that's almost endless for now. Mm-hmm. And and that's all, you know, that that I, I want credit for. You right. see what I'm I mean, like, there's no point in anybody just epitomizing this and shit and somebody being a god or something. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not that. I'm just saying like I came into a, a scene that I felt comfortable with and mm-hmm. really found that it was like me, it was like it was meant for me, mm-hmm. and therefore, through, for whatever reason, developed a lot of shit, and I think I did develop more than anybody else, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, for whatever reason. I'm not saying that all my contributions are as important as other people's, mm-hmm. but, but um, I mean, like, 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 like just a masterpiece in the itself, mm-hmm. you know. I can't say that I would have, I would, if it's super cool to do it, I would have done it. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's like, see, if somebody like me would have done it, it was like me, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Obviously, in, in, that, in that sense, because it's like, it's guys like super cool and, and these other guys that, 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 that just come up with ideas and shit. Like, if, if, if one guy doesn't think of it, another guy does. But then, like I said, you take away a lot of the shit that, like, Rip and super cool and Lee and, like, Trace is contributing and shit like that, and you don't have shit. Mm-hmm. It's a fact. You see, and, like, that's why I think people should be like, damn, man, you know, Tracy was six days is bad, you know what I mean? Like, Rip was bad, man. These are the guys that, that we look up to. See what I'm saying? That sense, it's not, I don't, I, in life, I look at the people, you know what I'm saying? I can't say, I kind of praise Kay. I'm not going to deny it. I kind of did praise him because I said, mm-hmm. the shit he's doing is, this shit is like incredible. Mm-hmm. The way he just destroys shit. Right. Well, but to me, without having somebody to look up to in a sense, man, there's no motivation for you. Man. It has to be, I think so. He motivated me, you know, maybe. Right. Look at a guy like you.